Hello, Bill Molino here. Fort William Henry update, Fast Play War Games, and the Nottingham Wargaming Group. All right, let's start off with the elephant in the room. These figures are 60-year-old comic book figures from my friend Dennis McKibben, gifted them to me. And also some Hold the Line figures from Grant Wiley of Worthington Games. They are not painted. I'm not going to paint them. They have a little paint on them, and that's about it. Uh, these won't see a convention, and for my basement fun, uh, I'm very happy with them. Life is short, and uh, I have more painted figures and tubs and shelving than you can ever imagine. And these guys are the way they're going to be. So, let's uh, take a look at the Fort William Henry game with the Order of Battle from Angelo and... Jerry Lanigan, we have our blockhouse with some militia. And then we have a unit of rangers out here. Um, they've been driven back. In our fort, William Henry, we have our grenadiers and a heavy gun. Um, British line unit there, British line unit there. My militia are hodgepodge. They've been spray painted multiple colors and then base to give them a militia look. So we have a, a couple heavy guns, a couple small guns, and a, and a gun in the courtyard. Now, when you're three, four feet away, my wife recently just came down and said, hey, that looks great. Other than the flesh, if I had dabbed uh, a little bit of flesh on these figures, they wouldn't look bad at all. But for me, I'm quite happy with this. This is just going to be a fun beer and pretzel game using Todd Kreshner's rules. So in the woods, we have a mixture of old comic book natives from the comic book days, along with some French Indian War figures from Hold the Line supplement from Grant Wiley. Grant Wiley of Worthington Games. I can't say enough about Grant. He's done all kinds of favors for me, including giving me some figures for a game like this. Well, let's go see here. In the woods of the French side, we have French Melisse, our militia. I portray French Melisse at times for reenacting. And we have more natives. These all are units in... Uh, 10 figures to a unit. I probably was going to flock all these bases. I got them painted in a green for now, but uh, got motivated by some of the guys on the Facebook site. I don't know if I'm going to actually uh, flock these bases or start running this game tonight, probably through a good six or eight weeks, playing a turn or two every couple days. Well, we have our French line troops here. We have Ladoc. And leading here, we have the figure Captain Don Kramer and Regiment D. Loren. Along with, uh, I uh, also portray uh, a French soldier in Regiment D. Loren. Now, these. Mortars Josh printed for me um, with his 3D printer. And we're going to use a weird random die roll thing to see where the shells land. And Josh Wartliff, um, and you can find him on Facebook or the Nottingham Miniature Wargaming Group of Maryland. He 3D printed this fort for me. So... We're using basically two-page rules from Todd Kreshner. Uh, I made a couple slight adjustments, uh, nothing major, even talked to him about it. And uh, we're ready to start the siege. I have to find some ladders, I guess, and then I can start the siege. And I do have some canoes, but uh, I'm not going to use them because I haven't painted them yet. Josh did print me some canoes. So in closing... Fort William Henry with 60-year-old comic book figures. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and get off your couch and 
work on some figures or something. Um, everything doesn't have to be perfect to use it in your table at home. You know, going to a convention might be a different story, but uh, just have fun. Life is short. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous. Thank you for checking out my videos.